Don't make a mistake. Don't order something twice. Order it for order, order it first the right, the first time. Order it right the first time. Order it first the right time. Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Got another custom e-bike build for you. Want to go over what bike this is, what I did to it, and why this bike's awesome. Why I recommend doing this. If you got a bike like this, or if you're thinking about getting an e-bike, why you should just get a bike and convert it into the absolute bike that fits your needs. All right, so if you're new to the channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. I convert bikes. If you're interested in finding a bike for you, anything like that, head to johnnynerdout.com. I do consultations. Um, I help you put together a package that fits your bike, so on and so forth. Anywho, let's get into this. So this is the Giant Cypress. This is named after the 90s hip hop group, Cypress Hill, as we all know. Um, hits from the bong, so on and so forth. I think Giant just really liked that band, and so they named this bike after them. Just, you know, kind of cool if you're into Cypress Hill. This is, this is a, a nice, comfortable bike. It's upright. Look at this. It's close in. The ergonomics are good for a guy like me. Obviously, I would put the seat down a little bit. Um, this actually is a medium frame, believe it or not. It seems like a, it seems like a large to me, but this is a medium. But yeah, it's got that high stem here. It's adjustable stem. This could actually come in higher and closer to you if you wanted. Uh, it's got mechanical disc brakes front and rear. These are 700 by 45 C tires. These are fat tires. For some reason I thought these would be 650 B's, but they are 700 C's by 45. So it, they're big rolling, rolling tires, good for commuting, covering long distances. If you wanted to, this would be a good long distance touring bike, I would say. Um, obviously like component wise, it's not the most high end, but you could definitely do some long miles on this bike. The, the tires are, are big and round, so it's really efficient, and they're just wide enough where it's gonna absorb some of that road noise. And especially with the front suspension fork will also take a lot of road noise. If you hit bumps, accidental bumps, things like that, definitely help you. Uh, it's got an eight-speed Altus Shimano derailleur in the rear. Yeah, so let's go over what we did to it then. We added the BBS 2 750 watt mid-drive motor by Bafang. Puts out, I think around like 1300 watts at peak when paired with a 52 volt battery, which is what this is. This is a 17 amp hour battery with Samsung 35E cells. Uh, this one was made, manufactured by EM3 EV. They're, in my opinion, one of the highest quality battery manufacturers there are. And that's, you know, going off on a little tangent here. It's not so much what the cells are inside here, it's also who made them. Because if you have grade A cells that are just super awesome, but you had, you know, a six-year-old make them, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I'd rather take crappy cells made by an artisan that knows exactly what they're doing. This is blending both. You get Samsung 35 E cells made by EM3 EV, which they take great pride in, in their batteries. Got a 44 tooth stock chain ring up here. No chain line issues at all with this bike. Went with the 850C display. This one's nice, nice color display. Shows you your power output, what's going to the motor, your state of charge, your battery voltage, and a digital readout. Um, it also has a USB charge port here. So you could charge your phone, charge your lights, which we have here. These are the Raveman 1000 lumen lights. These things are freaking bright. So if you ever wanna be, if you ever plan on riding at night at all, get something bright. These are a thousand lumen. These are almost like a motorcycle light. And they are adjustable from like 600 to 400 and flashing and all that. Also has a rear, it's a set, so it comes with a front and rear. And these recharge off of the display. We've got the throttle here next to the cockpit. Got a gear shift sensor right here. I always put a gear shift sensor on all my mid drives. It just acts like an automatic clutch. Save the chain, that should be the t-shirt. Save the chain, get a gear shift sensor. New t-shirt idea. Yeah, all right, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out performance test where I test this on the hills and the top speed. I only use this with throttle only. I don't even pedal with these, just to kind of give you an idea of what the motor can do. So I do one up like a 25, 30% grade with a rolling start, and I do one from a dead stop, which is just a motor killer, or would be a hub motor killer for sure. If you're interested to see how some hub motors do on that, check out some of my pre-made e-bike reviews. See how hub motors handle this hill and you'll see it's night and day. And I also do top speed tests. So let's go check it out. All 
All right, so you can see 33 miles an hour. Kind of, I was expecting a lot more out of this. This was a fully charged battery, and these were at 60 psi. These tires. Um, so I'm not sure. It is a little chilly out, so maybe that's it. Maybe the battery was just like, you know, chilly and it didn't want to give everything it got. But I'm, I was expecting faster out of this, so I wouldn't be surprised in real life if, you know, this gets like 35, 36, because this should be faster. But I'm not sure. I think as the temperature is starting to go down here, it's December now, performance on the batteries go down. Uh, but hill climbing, absolutely no problem. I think this is a 36 tooth back here. It's the mega range gear. So 44 to 36, and that was no problem. Obviously, if you get like a one to one ratio, hill climbing is, is gonna be insane. But even getting close to one to one, you could see how that thing just handled that hill no problem, which means that this motor is not working very hard. You don't wanna be stressing your motor. That's when you burn stuff out and yeah, but stuff breaks. Hopefully you guys liked this video. Hopefully you found it entertaining or informational and or both. Uh, yeah, if you like this, check out some of my other builds. Uh, get an idea for your own build. And if you have questions about it, head to johnnynerdout.com. I'd be happy to talk to you, book a consultation with me. I like talking builds. So let's talk to me bikes. Later, guys.